Hi everyone. The first thing I'd like to say is shout out to that guy in the spiritual work community school. He used to say Olympic gold medalist every time he walked past me. You know who you are. And it's because I used to wear a yellow house badge. Now this actually cheers me up. And when I was having shit days, it actually made me laugh. But anyway, let's begin. So this bird right here in this Lone Ranger trailer, <coughs> it represents this bird right here. <coughs> now this, on the Scott Cinema's website, this is a huge vision board. There's this bird again. Represents this one right here. Even... Even all of these angry birds probably represent this same bird right here. <clears throat> right. This bird is red for Satan. This bird is black for the darkness. This bird represents Isis. And then this bird is yellow. Because yellow is similar to red, so that also represents Satan. That is why Iron Man is yellow and red. Well, at least in, in the comics he was. Anyway. So, here we have the Ab Fab movie, the F for the Fifth Age, and the A that is on Captain America's head. Joanna Lumley probably represents the woman of the Bible because she's got blonde hair. Then we have another film with the, woman in the, with the woman of the Bible in, Alice Through the Looking Glass. Because Alice represents the woman of the Bible because she's got blonde hair. See the Mad Hatter representing that clown? And he brings the idol worship. The Mad Hatter. M-A-D. Mad. Mutual Assured Distraction. <clears throat> then, well, Gods of Egypt. That represents being underneath the burdens of Egypt. Probably one, probably one of these guys represents Jesus and the other one represents Satan. If I have to, had to guess, this one probably represents Jesus because he's got a beard. This, I mean, the, 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 this guy looks like he's got a visor over his eye. And that represents those visors coming, you know, with the mark of the beast and everything. Like this guy right here and this guy right here. The, the, this Independence Day Resurgence film... Sorry I called it Requiem in a previous video. That was a mistake. Well, actually, I, I actually did it in more than one video. But, yeah. Um, yeah, so th th this represents the aliens coming. Just like this UFO does right here. Just like N Oxide in Crash Bandicoot. Right. Jason Bourne. He represents Jesus Christ. See the J for Jesus Christ in Jason. And here, here um... Here you also see an Illuminati pyramid, um, because of this, the, because of this uh, play button. It represents um, like Jesus being underneath the burdens of Egypt until he rises up above them, and he goes on top of the world to judge the world, to sit on the throne of the world. Remember, Sean Bean in Game of Thrones sits on the throne. Because he represents Jesus. And he's got a beard as well. Right. Here you have Queen Elizabeth, your lamb or woman of the Bible. Turtles representing the mock turtle. See this tortoise right here represents the mock turtle. Meaning the mock turtle in Alice in Wonderland. See Alice right here? See the Cheshire cat? See the nuclear football teed up? Now, right, maybe this right here could represent Satan and Jesus again, and this right here as well. Because, right, if I had to guess, this guy probably represents Jesus, because he's wearing blue. And you'd see, just about, that he's got a beard. Whereas, um, this guy seems to have a moustache. 
So he probably represents your Iron Man Satan figure. <clears throat> See, um, he's got sunglasses on again, representing like, like the mark of the beast and everything, with those visors. <clears throat> Warcraft: The Beginning, meaning it's the beginning of World War Three. If a see the blue side here for Jesus Christ and the red side here for Satan. This guy's Satan. This guy's Jesus Christ. He's got a beard. Now this door right here represents the door that we have to go through with Jesus Christ to get into heaven. That's why this door is blue. And this dog is right here because it represents the end of the time of the dog. We have to take our dogs in into heaven, otherwise we won't gain entry to heaven. This dog even seems to be a Jack Russell, just like I have a Jack Russell. These wolves represent those same, but the, the leaky cauldron wolves in Harry Potter. Well, the leaky cauldron wool in Harry Potter, I should say, the, the one that gains access to Diagon Alley. Now this bicycle wheel probably represents the wheel of the Great Tribulation. And you see, like, um, this umbrella right here. That represents Penguin's umbrella, but also um, Umbrella Corp in Resident Evil. Even that um, bloody um, umbrella that Jim Carrey wears on his head in Bruce Almighty. This is all playing out perfectly. We have X-Men Apocalypse coming out tomorrow. Then we have Alice Through the Looking Glass coming out the Friday after. Remember, X Men Apocalypse represents being underneath the burdens of Egypt, and Apocalypse represents the false prophet. See this thing looking like a sword in the middle right here? That probably represents Excalibur. It could, it could even represent that, that new tower being built. Like when the the Twin Towers got destroyed. Remember they've even built that hole near near the new tower. Representing the pit. The bottomless pit. The abyss. Or hell. As it's otherwise known. This right here represents the same thing. As... Captain America Civil War with Captain America versus Iron Man and Batman v Superman with Batman versus Superman. <clears throat> Your Jesus Christ figure. Your Jesus Christ figure. Your Jesus Christ figure. Your Satan figure. Your Satan figure. Your Satan figure. The red right here. The red right here. The blue right here. The blue right here. This guy even looks like Aquaman in that new Aquaman movie that's coming out. I don't know whether it's the same actor or not. But Aquaman probably represents Jesus as well, because he seems to have a beard in in like the, the, the DC film that's going to come out. <clears throat> and that Amber Heard character probably represents the woman of the Bible, because she's got blonde hair. Now... <clears throat> Morgan Freeman, he plays God in Bruce Almighty, right? So this represents... This free bit represents freedom. And it basically says God is going to free man from the burdens of Egypt. <clears throat> so basically, right... Um, on Lorraine this morning, it was talking about, um, 
well, at the current antibiotics aren't going to be effective anymore because our immune system, well, we're just not going to be able to take the current antibiotics anymore because they just won't work. And um, so they're going to be replaced by new antibiotics. And who knows that um, this these new antibiotics could involve injections, pills, who knows? <clears throat> just like Prince mentions pills in his song. And just like this injection right here. It represents the same injection in Hollyoaks with that Lindsay character, but also like the injections in like the Americans on FX as well. <clears throat> so they'll say it's like um, a so-called cure when really it just makes everything worse because they were they were also. On Lorraine, they were also going on about um, Ebola, and remember, Ebola is represented in Resident Evil with the T virus. Ebola spread across Africa, just like the T virus spread across um, Africa in in Resident Evil Five. They were even going on about that Zika virus as well. And, like, Zika represents Zionism. Because it's, like, it begins with, uh, Z-I. Now, right, this star right here represents the same star that's on Wonder Woman's head, but also the, the star that's on Winter Soldier's arm as well. This right here represents the bullets that go that go towards Superman, but also the bullets that go towards Neo in the Matrix. One good man must wear a mask. Army Hammer, the Lone Ranger, is your Jesus Christ character, and Tonto is your Satan character. See, he's wearing black. Because it represents the darkness rising. <clears throat> I mean, like, this bird that he wears on his head is black. And it, look, it appears like his hair is black as well. Again, this bird on his head represents this bird right here. <clears throat> so, no, notice he wet right... He, um, the Lone Ranger wears, rides a right... Sorry. The Lone Ranger rides a white horse. The rubber says heaven. It's just like Shadowfax in Lord of the Rings and that white horse that Daenerys has in Game of Thrones. Even Hedwig in Harry Potter. It represents the, it represents the same thing. See these eyes right here? It represents the eye that, that is on top of the Illuminati pyramid. So, basically, right, <clears throat> here's your Red Queen type character, Helena Bonham Carter. She even plays the Red Queen in the Alice in Wonderland films. This Lone Ranger thing goes back to the old days. It goes back to the black and white era. It's been going on for ages. This right here represents Satan being bound in the pit for a thousand years. And then this castle right here represents that castle in the Man in the High Castle. See how they've made it look black and white? Because the Illuminati um, want you to think that everything is black and white, but it's not that simple. 
this castle represents the Illuminati pyramids as well. 